Good morning, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Today is Thursday, and we are going to have a terrific day. I can't wait to come around to see each of you, find out what you are learning, be ready to share. I will see you soon. Let's get started with the morning announcements. Good morning, city kids, elementary students, and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, individual, liberty, and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Go. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about my new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am an understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. You may be seated for a moment of silence. Please pause for a moment of silence, please. In our school-wide events and activities, scholars, we will have our next Bobcat Bonanza on April the 26th. To be eligible for our full day of fun, you must have four behavior tallies or less, and you must not have visited the school counselor the district behavior specialist, or the office for misbehavior. Today marks the beginning because on yesterday you didn't know what the criteria was, but since you know what the criteria is today, everyone is going to start fresh. And this is the criteria for a full day of fun. Full day of fun. We haven't had eight hours of fun. We are going to have eight hours of fun. That is for those scholars who earn it. Now scholars, if you are new to the hill, I just wanted to give you just a little reminder that throughout the year, we have Just Because Treat Days. So, you must always follow our three school-wide rules, which are to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn, because you never know if this day is a treat day. In our school at events and activities, scholars, we continued our TCAP attendance incentive on yesterday. Remember, if we as a school have 93% attendance and up, you receive an out of uniform pass. Well, scholars, yesterday we had 96% of our student body at school. Therefore, your parents received a special text 
letting them know that you could pick out your favorite outfit and wear it to school today. We'll be continuing to monitor our attendance and I will let your parents know when we have reached our attendance goals. Scholars, today we will only have TCAP makeup assessments for reading. We will have a regular school day. Everyone will go to support classes. We will be reviewing for our math assessments, which will begin on next Monday. Scholars progress reports were available in the portal on yesterday, but thanks to Ms. Clark, you will take home a hard copy this afternoon just in case your parents weren't able to see your grades inside the portal. All right, scholars, we are still collecting registration passes for scholars for our GLOW party. Remember, our GLOW party will also take place on, uh, on April the 26th, but only those whose names are on this screen will be invited to our GLOW dance. If you see your name and you are in kindergarten through second grade currently, these are the names of those students who are registered in kindergarten through second grade. If you do not see your name, make sure that your parents go on and register tonight. I did have a few scholars who were in the upper grades who said that they did not see their names on yesterday. This is the screen if you are in third, fourth, or fifth grade. This is the screen that you look on to see if your parents have registered you for next school year. We do have a few fifth graders who are on this list because their parents have registered them for middle school. If you are in grade five and you do not see your name, your parents have not registered you for middle school. classroom spotlight goes to our pre-k scholars in Ms. Troxler's class. These scholars were caught building their brilliance as they were working on number recognition and letters and sounds when we visited them this week. These scholars were eager and ready to showcase everything that they have learned. We'll be looking for more scholars who are highly engaged like our pre-K scholars were this week. Today, we have three scholars to celebrate. It was on this day that Jakaya Young, Malia Thornton, and Kaysen Williams were born. Jakaya, Malia, and Kaysen, we are super excited to have you with us today at the Hill so that we can celebrate just a piece of your special day with you. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. 
Now, when you see these three scholars in the hallway, the cafeteria, outside on the playground for recess, on the way to support class, even if you don't see them, until it is time for us to be dismissed from school this afternoon, be sure to give them a special Bobcat birthday shout out. But for those of you in the room with Jakaya, Malia, and Kaysen, right at this moment, help me wish them happy birthday by turning, pointing to them, and saying happy Birthday! All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. Now, we are going to get to the school We have been doing a lot of but today you must be ready. Today we are going to be the are you ready? Let's get started. All right, Scott, are you ready? Just a reminder, two, three seconds. In three seconds only. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, Zero. I know that you got that one correct because remember, it doesn't matter how large the number is. If you are multiplying times zero, the answer is going to be zero. Let's see if you can master this addition. Problem next. 95 plus 6. 101. Scholars, I hope that you used our strategy to count on. That means you start with the biggest number in your head and you count and move forward. So let's do it together. Count on. We need to go six places past 95. Are you ready? Count with me. 96. 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. Great job. Let's do one more multiplication fact with our nines. Our students in the spotlight. Today we are shining a light on those scholars who served as office helpers and safety specialists on yesterday. These scholars could be seen assisting scholars inside of the classrooms, helping us to refill our food pantry, and even putting out our safety cones during dismissal. Scholars, we are super proud of each of you for always being willing to lend a helping hand. Keep up the great work. We'll be looking for more scholars to help us out today. In our national holidays, scholars, today is National Exercise Day. So in honor of this holiday, we'll have some extra special brain breaks to make sure that we are able to get a little exercise throughout this day. It is also National High Five Day. Our challenge question is, who will you surprise with a high five today? I hope that there'll be at least one or two scholars will surprise me with a high five on this day as I try my best to do the very best for you each day. And I hope that you'll be proud enough of me to give me a high five for doing the right thing. I can't wait to come and see you in a few. Today's read aloud is called Pepita and the Bully. Today, teachers, after listening to today's read aloud, I would love for us to review 
our school wide procedures of what to do if someone, if you see someone being teased or bullied. Today's read aloud is 11 minutes and 21 seconds long. In addition to our read aloud, we are continuing with our I Spy With My Little Eye series for our scholars in pre K and K. We are reviewing addition for our scholars in grades one and two. We are jumping to division for our scholars in grades three and four, basic division facts. And for our scholars in grade five, we are going to do a fraction to decimals quiz this morning. And just because it is a terrific Thursday. We have a bonus read aloud, and this it is entitled The Big Cheese. Now, scholars, now just because we're not doing our TCAP assessments on today, we are having a few students to do some makeup, so we will have our special TCAP chat brought to us by our grade three scholars. Now, scholars, we will be around to see what you are learning. Remember, your teachers will have you in small groups on this day so that they can make sure that everyone in the room is getting smarter. When your teacher is at the small group table, you are not to disturb them at all. You know how to work on the assignments that they give you, either already or inside of your classroom books. But remember, all of the tasks that we're working on are helping us to get ready for our next set of TCAP tests and our next set of iReady tests. We will have our last iReady diagnostic in the next couple of weeks. I believe that kindergarten first and second grade will start theirs later on next week. So let's make sure that we are preparing for that in our younger grades so that you can show us what you know. Let's have a great day of teaching and learning. And I did not forget that I owe you a treat on yesterday. Our, we were supposed to have a really big treat at the end of the day, but it arrived a little bit later than we expected. So today will be a double treat day. I have some special scholars who are coming down this morning after we get started with the day, just to make sure that you're earning it. They are tasked with coming down to pass out the first treat to you, you'll get it early this morning, and that second treat will have it ready for you this afternoon. I'll see you soon. Oh, okay. Well, I'm ready, got my feelings ready, and I'm feeling nervous. Answering questions one by one, we won't give up until it's done. We ain't passing just so many questions, we just concentrate. We work so hard, we study long, determined, and I'm not that strong. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, 
achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.